Alright, Shalom. I'm going to start off with giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. The one to the apostles and the elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 1. It says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. Now, who is calling these things to mind? The Israelites in its proper form. All right. In its proper form, according to what the Bible actually says. It's not no hidden agenda behind it, meaning an example of the Edomites will always mention how the Israelites went in slavery. And a lot of times they mainly only talk about <coughs> uh, the tribe of Judah, which are the so-called Negroes, whom are being called today, which is another part of the curse is being called Negro, Black, African American, um, you know, things of that sort. Now we, right, we as teachers, as, as men of the Lord, servants of prophets, as we're teaching, well, we're calling the mind of, look, this is what happened to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? By the way of what? By the way of our disobedience unto the Lord. This is why these different things have taken place unto you. So we're calling these things to mind, and people, through the spirit of, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem al Shah, are recognizing and realizing that, wait a minute, I fit this. This is happening to our people we we fit this right so what's up what's i could have just went two chapters down but when we, when we go down to for the sake of time let's just jump to just the verse 68 it says and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with ships now if you know anything egypt this place is uh, America, Bell on the Great. It's spiritually called what? Sodom and Egypt. You can get that in the book of Revelation, the 11th chapter, a verse. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Hmm. Where, how were we brought over here to America, Bell on the Great? On what? On cargo slave ships. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And seeing it no more again is talking about our homeland, which is Jerusalem. And there you should be sold unto your enemies. What? So Jake was on these, Jake, we was all on the different auction blocks being sold out to our enemies. And, it, and this didn't even only happen to Judah. It happened to the northern kingdom as well. What you think happened when them devils came over here? Christopher Columbus and all those different devils so-called to go under the banners of the explorers did when they got over here to the Americas and they seen the jig, jig over here the Latin tribes right which the Bible speaks about that right what you what you think happened well they stormed right they came in as a flood and they stormed them by force and what they raped robbed and killed that's what they did <clears throat> and then they drove them. They drove them off on ships, okay, and scattered them, scattered them into different different uh, areas and places wherever they they needed to be needed to see them where they fitted their uh, benefit. And then what? They brought the uh, the southern kingdom over. It says thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Meaning this buy means. No man shall sure redeem you because when you are sold, you are purchased. So what does this buy mean? This buy goes into what? To redeem. No one is going to save you. Because who is going to be our savior? Well, our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai would be our savior. This is why these different leaders that were set up to basically be, you know, a, a, a spokesperson for Jake. You know, a, um, a, a leader. That Jake will look up to to say, all right, they're, they're going to deliver me or get us out of this situation as a people. It never worked because what? That wasn't, you know, this wasn't a doing of the Lord. 
for these thing, things to work. So when you think about, let's, I want to get a preset real fast. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Just a quick hit to the spirit. Psalms 127 verse 1, it says, A song of degrees from Solomon, for Solomon. It says, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. So you see all this building that you know, that uh, like Jake was trying to do among themselves, right? Whether it was the Black Panther Party, whether it was the Brown Berets, you know, whatever different collective groups was trying to come together and stick together amongst each other as a people. Well, it, it never worked. It always failed. Leaders failed. Either they ended up being sold out uh, or bought out. Okay, which then they sold out, and uh, or they or they was killed. Nevertheless, it never benefited Jake because it wasn't of the Lord. Right, just like as a watchman is watching over the city, he says, "Look, you got a watchman." Okay, they could be keeping guard, but if the Lord want that city to fall, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> It's not going to matter. All right. So as I go back to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, let's read that again. Deuteronomy 30th chapter. Deuteronomy 30 verse 1, it says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations, whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. Who is doing that? Who is proclaiming this? Of what have happened unto our people. You know, the good and the bad. Right? Who's mentioning this, these things? Who's going into the history? The Israelites. You see? And, and shall return to the Lord thy God and shall obey his voice according to all that command thee this day, and thou, thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. And the Lord is going to have mercy and compassion upon whom? Upon the elect. Right? Upon the elect of the house of Israel. And will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord thy God have scattered thee. And this, look, this, and this is what the hopeful elect is waiting for. To get beamed up into them chariots, wherever we are scattered. Okay? Wherever we were scattered. This is what we're waiting. Waiting for to be what? To be what? Delivered. To be saved. From whom? That Savior that is, is going to redeem us back. And that's Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father Yahweh have sent unto us Yahweh Shai, man. This is the book of Isaiah. Yep. Verse 9, nine verse 6 it says, For unto us a child is born, and to us, and to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And these are just different titles, right? Verse 7 Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of King, of King David, of Shalakia. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment, with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. You see? So a righteous government is going to be set up in order and governed, right? By Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. And he's going to have what? His men set up the governing body, 144,000, to execute this on earth. To establish this on earth. This is what we're telling you. This is prophecy. Okay? Under the orders that's going to be set up to be. You know, it's going to be ordered. You know? King David is going to be back in his stead. Everything's going to be raised up as, in, as like in the days of old. A lot of people try to shy away from that, but you can't shy away from that because this is what's happening. The book of Isaiah, the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 11, it says in that day... Will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen? And this is what you're seeing happening through the spirit. The tabernacle of David is being raised back up. Okay? 
and close up the breaches thereof and I will build and I will raise it and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Okay? That they may possess the remnant of Edom and all and, and of all the heathen which are called by my name, say of the Lord that do of this. So what? We're going to possess a part of our inheritance, which you heathen you are or, or our inheritance. We're going to possess you. We're going to possess your land. You're not going to own. You're not going to own nothing. Right? How y'all be fighting over the earth, which is ours today? I mean, which is ours? Like how y'all fight over the earth today, which really belong to us? You're not going to have none of that. Y'all going to be renters, so to speak, right? <laughs> Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes and the treader of grapes. And him that soweth seed in the mountains shall drop sweet wine and the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and they shall build the way cities and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and drink them, drink the wine or uh, they shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them, right? So we're gonna we're gonna benefit from everything we do. Right now, part of the curse, we're not benefiting from none of the things, you know, uh, uh we're not we're not uh, reaping anything that we sow. Okay. Verse 15, it says, and I will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be pulled out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord God. So, hey, look, you, you heathen, all want to get took down because right now you're the plowman. I mean, right now we're the plowman and you're the reaper. But this is all about to change. About to be a, rever a, a role reversal because you're going to become the plowman and we're going to be the ones reaper, reaping. Okay? So just a quick hit to the spirit. Lord willing, Lord willing, who was edifying. So next time I want to say, shalom.